Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to operating systems class. In this class, we'll continue our module three memory management. Um, till now, in the previous classes, uh, we were discussing about the virtual memory concept. In the last class, we discussed about uh, paging art pair. Uh, in this class, we shall continue the virtual memory handler. This virtual memory handler is nothing but the software component of a virtual memory. So uh, the virtual memory manager uses two data structures. One is the page table entry. This we already saw in the previous class. This is the page table entry. Uh, there are uh, different fields, valid bit, page frame number, and some miscellaneous info fields are there. So we'll try to look into the what prot info gives, what ref info gives, and modified and other info gives. We shall see uh, in general. And, uh, and another data structure uh, my virtual memory uses is the free frame list. This free frames list, uh, this we saw in one of the examples uh, after allocation of the process in the respective pages in a memory. Okay, uh, these are the two things uh, the virtual memory, virtual memory manager uses. Okay, and the, the ref info field and modify uh, info fields uh, are used by the paging hardware and they'll be set by the paging hardware. And uh, the other fields are set by the virtual memory manager itself. Okay, the these bit fields will be set by either by the paging hardware or by the virtual memory manager. Uh, let us see the some uh, functions of the virtual memory manager. Uh, there are few functions uh, um, in order to know about the virtual memory manager. And uh, we shall see in the tabular column with the function and its respective description. Uh, first, we shall list out the functions that is managing the logical letter space. Uh, this logical letter space comes in a uh, pair, that is, page, comma, byte and managing the physical memory uh, and implementing the memory protection, collecting the page reference information, performing the page replacement, allocating the physical memory and implementing the page sharing. Already we saw the page replacement uh, and uh, logical address space and memory protection in the last class uh, in the paging hardware. We shall see the description one by one here also. Okay. Uh, the how to manage the logical address space. First, we need to set up the swap space for a process. Then organize the logical address space of a swap space in a memory. Okay. This organization of the logical address space can be done by page in and page out operations. Okay. Page in means loading into the memory and page out means taking out from the memory. Okay. Then managing the physical memory, that is, uh, we need to keep track of the, the memory where the memory area has been occupied or with, whether it's a free. Okay, that to page frame. Okay, we need to keep track of the occupied page frames in the memory and free page frames in the memory. Then uh, implement memory protection. How to implement this? By maintaining the inf required information. Okay, by maintaining the required information which are essential for protecting the memory. Then collecting the page reference information. Uh, we need to, uh, just a second. Pardon me for the disturbance. Okay, uh, next uh, about, we are talking about the collecting the page reference information. Okay, this page reference information are provided by the paging hardware, and this information is maintained uh, in an appropriate data structure. Why? Because uh, we, we need to deal with the page replacement algorithm and uh, performing the page replacement. Uh, the page replacement concept comes only when there is a raise of the page fault. Okay, this we saw in the flowchart in the SRS class in a paging hardware. Whenever there is a rise in the uh, page fault, uh, then we need to perform the uh, page replacement of a page. Or uh, when, uh, how, how it is done, all the page should be replaced or some of the page should be replaced. Then uh, allocating the physical memory. Uh, we, uh, that uh, First, we decide how, how much um, memory should be allocated to a process. 
then revise the decision of allocating the memory from time to time whether it requires a, a, a less memory or a accurate memory okay we need to time to time revise the allocation of the uh, sorry we need to, uh, revise the decision of allocating the uh, exact space to a process then implementing page sharing um, we need to arrange the sharing of pages uh, such that we can implement the page sharing easily then the management of the logical letter space of a process uh, we need to see some functions there are some uh, sub functions uh, some four uh, first organize the copy of the instructions and copy of copy of the data in its swap space then maintain the page table perform the page in and page out operations perform process initiation these are the steps uh, sorry sub functions then what are swap space management okay uh, first I, we, what we said we need to have the copy of the instructions and copy of the data right same thing we need to have the copy of the entire logical letter space of a process uh, which is to be uh, swapped then when a reference page uh, uh, when a reference is there uh, we need to uh, make sure whether there's a page replacement or not so when a reference to a page leads to a page fault so they, we need to go for a page reference so uh, we need to load the page from the swap space by using a page in operation when there's a dirty page means we we, we saw in the previous class it is an open page and the dirty page so when there's a dirty page it has to be removed from the memory how by performing a page out operation thus we can uh, have a copy of the page in in the swap space when if that page is not in memory or if it is in a memory but it has not been modified since it was last loaded okay what is meant by modification we shall see um, for other pages where the, the copy of the swap space is outdated okay uh, we are talking about the uh, swap service management that over the dirty page and the copy of a page now uh, th there will be issue in the swap service management that is um, one issue uh, that is the size of the swap space okay then coming to the reasons for a dynamic grow of logical address space that we we saw that this, uh, one of the issue of the swap space is uh, size uh, we shall try to address that um, okay here uh, most virtual machines implement the uh, implementations will permit the logical letter space to grow dynamically means there is no fixed stage it can the logical letter space can grow dynamically when during execution during the execution uh, why the reasons are why it allows to uh, why vm allows the logical letter space to grow because um, the size of a stack or pcd data areas may grow or the process may dynamically link more modules or the process may perform memory mapping of files okay for these reasons it allows the logical letter space to grow dynamically how to handle this dynamic growth one obvious approach is uh, is uh, to allocate the swap space dynamically itself okay and in a non contiguous manner allocate the swap space dynamically and non contiguously but this approach also has some problem that is it may run out of the swap space during execution not before execution during execution it may run out of the swap space so and another approach is to initiate a process only that page containing starting address only whichever pages contain starting address we need to initiate okay uh, what is it mean it means uh, the the the, swap, the space which is the, sorry the page is having the address uh, in its instruction okay and uh, uh, and we need to go for a demand approach then the management of memory uh, the free frames list will maintains the uh, free page frames in the in it and uh, it uh, and uh, whenever uh, whenever it is uh, any requirement is there that page frame will be loaded into, uh, as a new page to the memory um, the free frames list is maintained at all times a page frame is taken off the free list to load a new page and a frame is added to it when a page out operation is performed and uh, all the pages allocated process are added to the free list when the process starts okay free frame list is one uh, uh, which maintains the uh, number of each 
every page frames also whenever the process terminates it will having a list of all the free page frames and it contains the list of free page frames okay next coming to the memory protection memory protection uh, it, it is very much essential so during process creation the virtual memory manager constructs the page table and puts information only concerning with the starting address of the page table and uh, it it uh, obtains the sizes of the process uh, sorry uh, pcb of the process that's about how the protection then about uh, prot info field uh, the vm manager records access privileges okay uh, in the prot info field whatever the access privileges given to an, uh, is is you know, needs to be uh, needs to be checked will be obtained from the prot info field and uh, during dispatching of the process the kernel loads the page table with the start address of the process and it's a table a page table size into registers of the okay and uh, we know that logic letter space comes with that uh, pair pibi this is used in the translation of uh, address translation translation means address translation okay so here a slight difference is that mm management earlier it was using only the pair p page comma byte now it will also checks for the access privileges from the prod before address translation uh, then uh, coming to the uh, page replacement we need to collect information for page replacement that will be obtained from the ref info field okay ref info field this ref info field gives the information when that page exactly was last referenced or when it was used okay and the modified info field uh, indicates whether the page was uh, has been modified or not since its last use okay so uh, uh, from this we can get the information for page replacement so page reference information uh, will be useful uh, only as long as the page remains in the memory so it is useful when um, for a next time page in operation okay and most of the computers performs a single bit ref info field collection for a page reference but this is not adequate uh, so uh, vm manager periodically reset this single bit uh, to store the uh, ref uh, to store uh, single bit since it's a single bit we need to periodically reset the bit uh, one example of the page replacement is consider a memory uh, computer memory consisting of eight page frames and having few processes their process span consists of five pages numbered from 0 to 4 and uh, uh, the only the three pages are occupied uh, among these four and they occupy page frames 2 7 and 4 okay the page 1 2 and 3 uh, occupies ref page frames 2 7 and 4 one page 1 occupies page frame 2 page 2 occupies page frame 7 page 3 occupies page frame 4 okay so the remaining page frames have been uh, allocated other place or uh, they they might have kept in the free page frames okay so we shall uh, plot its data structure of the virtual memory manager one, one is the page table and the other is the free frame list. okay we shall plot here a page replacement uh, requirement of a page replacement or not that is before and after okay first we shall construct a before a page replacement it is a uh, let us construct a memory of 8 okay 0 to 7 numbered from 0 to 7 then uh, we need to have the page table Uh, where valid bit is there page frame number is there miss info miss info field is there. it comes um, um, prot info field modified info field okay uh, what what does the example states there is a process p1 and number from 0 to 4 this is a page table of a process p1 you can see 0 1 2 3 4 pages are there okay five pages among this the page one is occupied by the page frame 2 page 2 is occupied by the page frame 7 and page 3 is occupied by the page frame 4 this is what they have given okay and they have given some info of the miss info field before page replacement if we observe the page 1 page 2 page 3 are made as valid bit 1 others are made as 0 because they are not accessed so only these are accessed so they are made valid bit 1 so let us go to the uh, construction of the uh, page table after the page replacement this is the memory of 
then uh, we we are uh, constructing the page replacement page table after a page replacement this is a figure a is the page table before the page replacement and figure b is the page table after the page replacement so so the page table of a p1 is there after the page replacement uh, the example shows uh, the page 2 page 3 page 4 has been allocated earlier 1 2 3 before was pages allocated now 2 3 4 pages are allocated okay and page frame 7 is retained in the page 2 page frame 4 is retained in the page 3 only the page frame uh, Two, which was allocated to page one before replacement, now it is allocated to uh, page four. Okay, and if you see the valid bit also updated for page two, page three, page four. Okay, by this I conclude the virtual memory enter concept. We'll meet in the uh, next class. Okay, thank you all.